Once we have both the center support piece and our plywood box put together, we're ready to move on to paneling. Since we're looking to create as much of a seamless look as possible, we'll need to miter cut our paneling along the length of the planks. Not all planks are going to wind up needing to be mitered, uh, but I figured that I was probably gonna be picky about which tones went where on this piece, so I went ahead and started by mitering all of them on the table saw with my blade set at a 45 degree angle. Now it's time to start paneling, and once again, I'd like to avoid nailing my plywood box to that centerpiece before mounting it, so I remove it for now and use a couple extra two x eight pieces to retain the shape of the box while installing the planks. Here comes another one of those details that's going to determine whether you wind up with a mantle or an exposed beam. If you're looking to create a mantle, you'll need to make sure that the first and last paneling planks are mitered at a 45 degree angle on one end as well as the edge. From there, we can install that first row with the mitered edge facing out. 